Hey, you going there, folks? This is Paul Bars signing in. I want to do a very quick tutorial on show you just how easy it is to create a squeeze page for your own opt-in newsletter, your own data collection point for your e-sign for whatever it is that you're building and creating your own database for. Now, first things first, I want to show you the secret that I use for creating squeeze pages really quickly and really easily. It is simply this. I'm on my hard drive here at the moment and if you look you can see that I have a fair dinkum pretty darn good collection of squeeze pages even inside this folder a whole bunch more of different squeeze pages that I can use as templates in the work that I'm doing have a quick look at just some of them there's this one just here this one here I can just scroll over let you see another one another one another one and so on. In fact, there are almost 80 of them at this point of time in my own personal database of squeeze pages. This is the secret I have for you. Stop trying to figure out how to make these things yourself and start building for yourself a swipe file of squeeze pages. Pages that you can modify to then make your own and it's always good if you can find one that's going to allow you to just get in there and make some custom changes to the page sorry the page or the code that's in there without having to actually you know learn the code I don't know about you but I'm no good I just want to be able to preview something figure out what it's going to look like one two or three and then just simply write my text basically is what I want to do that's what I suggest for you to start doing the same kind of thing. This is my swipe file. It's made up of every free giveaway. It's made up of PLRs. It's made of a resale right squeeze pages and bucket loads more that I've been able to come, uh, come across for my own personal use. Sorry, don't ask. I can't give you most of these files. So I'm not even going to try and figure out which ones I can or can't. Having a look through those, however, the other day, I found this one here. And I thought, hmm, I don't mind that because I needed to create a new squeeze page, a new domain name for my newsletter. I thought I can modify this. I can make this my own quite easily, quite simply. So the very first thing I did, of course, was I went out and I registered a domain name, Internet Business Quick Tips, which just happens to be the name of my newsletter. Obviously, I wanted the same kind of thing. Then, looking at this template, I thought, I'm going to have to make some changes to it, but I don't want to make too many changes to it. So what I need to do now is have a look and see what kind of files are involved that I'm going to have to make changes to see if it's going to be easy for me. Once I've found those files, which they are just here, well, I've got a simple custom style sheet to make changes to. Matter of fact, I probably won't need to make any changes to this and if you've never seen this kind of code before don't even begin this is the stuff that determines you know the colors and the font size and so on well I don't need to change that one let's have a quick look I'm happy with the colors and the font size no changes needed there now I've got some images yep okay I'm happy with that I like the blue one but I've got a choice of red or orange or black uh, this image itself was one that I had to create because I chose not to use the video. I'll show you that in just a moment. And the little Twitter box. Okay, so I don't need to do much there. I was happy. The JavaScript stuff. Oh my goodness. What the hell is all of that? I don't know. Therefore, I don't need to make changes. All I've got is this one file here. Pretty darn easy. What I'm going to show you in this video is how to get from this to this a process that took me 35 minutes let's get started it won't be 35 minutes so I'm going to show you just the changes here are the two different files the original and then the modified the original and the modified and I'll show you the changes that I made very simply in the title the original said classic opt-in page well I changed that to internet business quick tips makes sense of course See the difference? Classic opt-in page, internet business, quick tips. 
much better idea. Then, scrolling down, I found the line of text that I was going to have to change. Your name presents. Well, my name isn't your name. My name is Paul Bars. Paul Bars presents. Changing this to that. Pretty easy stuff, isn't it? Moving down, I wanted to then make some change to learn how to make money on the internet in five minutes a day is what I do with my quick tips, but I didn't like the how to make more money, retired only 25. So I made that change there. Very, very simply, retire, sorry, how to make more money and retire. I can't guarantee you retire by 25, but what I can guarantee is I want to give you stuff that take less than five minutes a day to read every couple of days no time to waste subscribe to blah 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 watch this video right now hmm let's find that text here it is that's the one in mine watch this video right now to discover the secret well I wasn't gonna have a video so I changed it to no time to waste from this to this video okay hmm now what well, if I go to here, here's the video code. Uh-huh. So, I simply deleted that and replaced it with that. Internet Business Quick Tips image. Got rid of all of this and put instead this, which uh, is just something I can show you in another tutorial, and you'll find it there in uh, other places, how to create graphics like that yourself. I didn't want to spend the time creating a video not not right now this is quick this is quick tips so let's move on straight through it I've got my Twitter thingy just down here if I come down here uh, where is it here's the Twitter image mmm now that's him that's interesting there if I click on that pass this along what happens not much I wanted to figure out how to make it do something a little bit different like this for example take you to Twitter and actually post the message. Wow, Paul's got this thing. There's the URL. How do I do that? Had no idea. So I went online and I found the code to change this into this. Twitter.com home question mark. The status was what I wanted to say. And then the URL opening up in a new window. That was it. Nothing more than that. Now it probably took me about Fifteen, oh, sorry, 10 minutes just to find and figure that out because I'm not a techie. But there it is right there. If you want it, go to my page, view the source, get in there and copy and paste it. And then you've got that clickable link right there which will do that for you. So that's all of that column done. Then I needed to move over here. Well, the arrow. I had a couple of choices of color, but I like the blue. kind of goes with this one, so I left left that. But I didn't want this background thing in here. So, scrolling down, I had to simply find that images. There's the arrow. Keep that one. Okay, actually, no, that's the repeating background. Here we go. Look at that. So, what did I do? I got rid of it. Just deleted it completely. That's where it was. I just went straight into the blue arrow, which is this one here. Now the thing is, how did I know that that was going to work? Well, I did this, hit delete, saved the file, and then refreshed it to find out if it would work. Pretty quick, pretty easy. It did. Blue arrow. I like the blue arrow. It can stay. What about this text? Simply enter in your first name and email address. Yeah, that's okay. I like that, but I've gotten rid of it, so I had to change it from white to black well let's go down here it is right okay there's the text its class is it's a style number 16 so we go back up to the top is there a number 16 yes there is there it is white hmm this is on the original one I had to simply find that and either change the style number to a different color which if you notice I did class 7 if we go up here we can see that style class 7 is black which allowed me to change this white text 
into black. Pretty easy. And I had to do the same thing there. Very, very, very simple. Scrolling down a little bit further, what's the next change I need to make? Well, I need to obviously put in the subscription details here. Looks a little bit different because my form comes up a bit differently and I, I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of time on it. So scrolling down, let's find the form. Back to where I was. Here we go. This is an Aweber form. Opt-in box starts there. There we go. So I simply copied all of that out from the center tag to the center tag and replaced it with the subscription form from my service at Goldbar. Easily done. I then, of course, wanted to replace the image download. Well, this isn't a download. This is a newsletter to, yes, please subscribe me. Now, I didn't just, I played around with different words and I chose, yes, please subscribe me. I want someone to know they're registering for a subscription here. It's the easiest way to do it. They have a choice of these different things. This formatting came in automatically. Actually, I can see I could probably just stretch that over a bit to make that little red dot. I can see I've got a slight error there. Let's have a quick look at that, see if I can't do it right now while we're watching. Uh, please subscribe me. First name. First name. Ah, here it is. Right, this is the bit. I need to bring this over. Email. That's email the red dot. First name. And the red dot. Where's my little red dot after the first name? Let's just quickly find that. Okay, here it is, just coming up that little bit. Right, so this doesn't quite fit. I could do it like that, which is... Oh, no, that's not going to look silly. It's still going to be right next to it, isn't it? As long as I do the same thing just there as well and actually save that. Let me just quickly preview this page. See how that looks. Yeah, that sort of works, doesn't it? This is, um, this is online, this is not online sort of works. Of course, I could also just make them move over a fraction, which might be easier. Let's have a look at the length here. Change that one to 65 just to see what that does. No, okay. I'm going to have to play around with that one. And this is how I do it, simply by testing and measuring. Well, hang on a minute. There's a thought. Let's just have a closer look at this again. I just realize there's only a first name thing here and there's only an email thing there. It ain't going to work without the two of them in there. I don't have, like a first name, must have optional last, last name. So then, let's solve the problem. I might just make that whole thing red to make it really, really easy. Watch how I'm doing this. Very, very easy. And I'm going to do the same thing down here as well cut that out, delete that little bit just there, paste that back in. No, that, doesn't, that, that looks terrible. Needs to go back to black, doesn't it? Okay, so I can go then back to black. But I don't need to have the little thingy bob there just because it was on the form already. And that works. And that's it. That's how you make your modifications to your squeeze page. So scrolling down a little bit further, the last thing, your information, here it was, let me just show this to you. We will not sell spam rent or loan and the, then the footer information there. Um, I should actually put in the uh, anti-spam, I can see I've deleted that accidentally and then this footer information, so let's have a quick look and do that. There we go, footer information here, I change that to my own footer information. But where is the we will not rent or here it is? I might just put that back in. Anti-spam. I've obviously gotten rid of that whole thing accidentally somehow. What did it come after? It came after the form. Close center, close divide, divide. So it's going to go in just there basically. Copy and paste. Preview. Ah, sweet! How easy is that? 
And I should put a little asterisk maybe just up there because that's there. Nah, I don't need to. Really, come on. I can get rid of this asterisk. What is it with asterisks asterisks these days? That's got to be it. That's got to be enough to say I'm not going to be doing this. Look at that. See how easy that was? How quick and how simple I was able to make those modifications? And that's everything. The whole thing now done in whatever time it's taken me to actually do this. Not very long at all. So that's just a quick tutorial on setting up squeeze pages. Start with a template. That template will give you the files that you need to then make change to and you can turn it from whatever it is here to whatever it needs to be there. When I did this yesterday, including creating this image, including finding the code to make this thing work for me, it took 35 minutes. Not very long. A couple of minutes extra to actually register the domain name that came along with it as well. That's how you make your squeeze pages these days, folks. It's really quick. It's really simple. So you have a fantastic day, fantastic evening, whatever it is that you're up to. This is Paul Barr signing off. I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.